Okay, so having reseated our CPU, we now need to reapply some thermal paste before we put the cooler back on. Uh, personally speaking, I prefer to use MX4, but it's whatever you can get your hands on. Uh, obviously, you won't get thermal paste with your computer, so there'll be a link to a product in the description below the video if you do need to purchase some. Um, my preferred method with the Ryzen CPUs is just an X from corner to corner, and then just dot like that. Now that doesn't look like a lot of thermal paste, but it's more than enough. Because when the cooler gets applied and gets pressurized down with the screws, that paste will spread across the entire surface of the heat spreader on the CPU and will make a good contact with the cooler. Uh, you can put too much thermal paste on. It will actually create a thermal barrier between the CPU and the cooler and stop heat from being transferred out and your CPU will continue to overheat. In this instance, that is just the right amount. Anything less than that, you're probably looking at not enough contact between the CPU and the cooler. And again, your CPU will overheat. It is a, it is a balancing act, getting the amount right. But once you've done it more than once or twice, uh, you'll get to learn uh, how much paste is required. So in this instance, we've got our paste on, our CPU has been reseated properly. We've cleaned up the surface of the back of the cooler, taken off the old paste. So with this cooler again, the four screws, we've got the four mounting plate points in the back plate. So we line the four screws up, make sure they're all over the back plate. Okay, and as we did to undo it, we do it up in a star pattern. So put pre pressure, equal pressure across the top of the cooler. So there's equal pressure across the whole cooler. So again, you're not putting undue pressure on one side or the other of the heat spreader on the processor. You might hear when you're doing your AMD cooler up, uh, some metal graunching on the springs. This is perfectly normal. It is just the way, as you can hear there, it is just the way the washers work within the springs to create the right amount of tension when you do the cooler up. And then last but not least, we plug the fan back onto the motherboard. That is your CPU now reseated. Now, whether it was too much thermal paste or creep within transit, that should have solved all your problems with your CPU. Now, the other item that can creep or move in transit between ourselves and you is your memory or your RAM. Um, it can, especially when you're taking that phone packing out, it can just knock the RAM just enough to make it not quite seated properly. So the best thing to do is at each end of the RAM is a little flick lever. You unflick it, you can lift the RAM out, put it back in, make sure it goes into the slots at both sides and press down firmly and you should hear both ends click in. If both ends aren't clicked in properly, it's not seated properly. Okay, now on this particular board, it has the RAM clips at both ends. Some boards, particularly Asus boards, only have a clip at one end of the board. Uh, so you will only hear a single click, but it will seat properly at both ends. Um, so yeah, RAM creep is another item that you could check when you're doing your initial checks, when you first open your PC up uh, and check it over before you actually plug it in and fire it up. So there you have it. Two, th two items that can move and how to uh, reapply your thermal paste if you need to, because you've had to take your CPU cooler off to check your CPU. Um, as always, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you in the next one.